Well, they have a big boom box. It's made out of you know straw. You know, there's actually like TLC and they milk shows cows and listen to us. That. <laughs> that's that's what they do, Jerry. <laughs> they sit on buckets, they churn butter, and they dominate. And the, like, what was I saying? Look at that Halloween episode. How do I milk of the cow? Huh? <laughs> Why am I talking Italian? Everybody has this accent. In Amish people. <laughs> I am so Amish. Bibbidi bobbidi. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to any of the Italian. Guess who's back, 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 back again. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's up, everybody? Hello. We are back. Back again. Woo! Feels like it's been a while, man. August Uno. Yeah, it's been August. No, it's been August. It's Hell. been August. Dude, it's been August all day It's been day August. Today. It's midnight <laughs> last night. It's actually... Man, I didn't mean to play the music out so fast. Our first one. I know you were just like, get it done. I move done. it. It's a new song, and you just want to get rid of it. Dude, when we start talking about August, <laughs> I get ready. <laughs> I cannot touch this. I'm scared that mine's going to make Both of so our mics, noise. we cannot touch at all. It's just like a force field like we cannot... Uh. And we're like, did you see I just did like, that with that cup? Uh, how do we do this? But I got to come up on the mic. So, what's going on, everybody? Hello. I feel like I ain't talked to them in forever. Yes, we were laughing because our last video said we are back because we was from our Christmas, like, whatever break. And that was in February. And then we were like, realized, oh, wait, we were back, but then we left again. <laughs> yeah. But this time we are back, back. Yes. Back from outer space. With that strange look upon your face. That's it. Dude, you know what I was thinking the other day? Tell and me. and I know this is going to sound really weird, but if you had to make a full-size animal or like any size, like no matter what it is, you had to make an animal the size of a horse. Okay, okay. Which animal would it be? <sighs> a dog. <laughs> a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Just any dog? Yes. Okay, all right. Let, let me rephrase it. It would be so cool to ride a dog. Yeah, that would be cool. What if you had to make every animal? Like, you couldn't just say I that couldn't. one animal. I, I mean, no. I don't no, no, no. I meant, like, the whole species of dogs from now on are the size of horses. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, no. So, if you had to pick an animal like that, which would Well, that's... <laughs> in other words, you didn't like my answers. <laughs> just dog. I mean, you think of dog. But I was also thinking of, like, mean stray dogs that will just run up and bite you. <sighs> or a pit bull that's the size of a horse. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not really that much of a cat person. So, are you cat people out there? Um... I don't know. Yeah, I guess if we did anything in the sea, it would just be a bigger fish. And then we wouldn't be able to like play with them and stuff. Yeah. You could do a frog. Yeah. Ugh. No. It'd be a huge frog. Look at all the slime that would be everywhere, though. <laughs> I like how you think of the slime. I was thinking about it eating like vans and shit. Yeah, and then there's no lily pads big enough for them. Yeah. So dogs is where it's at. I think you might be right, dude. But you get to pick, though. You could be like... Oh, I, want, I like my dog, and so you can like go to somewhere and they turn it into that. So the other dogs stay the regular size. And you take your animal somewhere to get it changed. Yep. Sort of like that movie, um, Matt Damon was in it, and they shrunk everybody, so they could live in these little towns. It mm-hmm. came out this summer. It was a horrible movie. But it was sort of like that. So you go somewhere to let the process happen. Oh, okay. So if somebody wants to get a toad, they can do that. Yeah. Yeah. But you know there'd be assholes out there that did like mosquitoes or some shit. Ugh. Of course, that would just kill you, wouldn't it? It probably would. Yeah, because, I mean, the amount of blood that they... Or its nose would just go through you. Oh, my God. You know what Or I'm hummingbird. Oh, my God. Because I hear... That I, would be the I fastest heard, like, thing ever. I don't know if it's like a, like a um urban legend or something, but somebody said like somebody caught a hummingbird one time, and the beak went right through them, their hand. I could see that. Yeah. I don't know if that's true uh, or not, but I could it, definitely though. see it. I catch them all the time, dude. I just like every time I see one, I just do this. I just reach out and grab. You're like Mr. Miyagi and without the chopsticks. That's it. Yeah, and then what we're talking about? It, no. Which animal would you eat if you no. had an animal? Ooh, uh, now what if you made cows the size of horses, and what? then you could have more meat or pigs, more bacon? Oh yeah! Oh my God, a chicken! <gasps> What's that big ass pigeon or chicken looking out there? Oh my god! All the dip I could have, all the sauces I could have. Dude, imagine their eggs. A horse chicken. (laughs) Chicken horse. A chicken horse. Get your chicken horse over here. Dude, you know what I would do? 
Well, I would make no, I wouldn't. I change my mind. What would you say? I Same. was thinking like cat, like tigers, but then they would just be more. No, yeah, you can't do that. We want nice. We want nice or edible. <laughs> I would do a ladybug. I would do a shrimp. <laughs> Holy crap! That would be the shit. And then you, you could like slice it and then fry yeah. the pe- like so you could like fry like like you know like cut it like cheese yeah cut the cheese and fry it and see and I love seafood so hmm you're onto something yep but you know is this what you've been thinking about since February I, well <laughs> ever since our last podcast dude it's just been on That's my it. mind you're like I don't want to discuss it till August till we start our podcast yeah again I don't know what's the stupidest animal out there you think. Let's talk about animals the whole podcast, by the way. I don't Let's know. Just <laughs> I wish we had animal crackers, so like every time we'd pick up one, we would say like a... Do <laughs> you remember animal crackers? Oh, I do. I love them. I love them. I like to dip them in um, peanut butter or something. Dude, I've never done that, but I bet it's good. And remember they had the kind with the icing on it? Dude, those are my favorite kind in the entire I, world. I, I haven't had animal crackers in years. It, oh, wait. Here's the real question. Why are they called crackers Well, cause and not cookies? Aren't they out of the UK where they call them... No, what they call them biscuits over there, don't they? Yeah, they're animal biscuits. So why do we in America do we call? Let's have biscuits and milk, everybody. Why are why why are animal crackers called animal crackers? Do we want to find out? I don't think I want to know. But I got I got. Hey, look. Hey, and then our new studio. Hey, our fancy new place. I've got. Well, why don't I play some more music right here? <laughs> By <laughs> accident. Oh, today's episode is sponsored by Hardee's. Oh gosh, when I finally get all this thing set up right. But see, normally we had we couldn't do this, but now we can say why are animal crackers so good? <laughs> okay, this, okay, this is the best part of having this thing up here. Yeah. The choices are he all he typed in was why are animal crackers. This is Google's choices. First one by is yeah, Google's choices. Not okay, there it is. Why are animal crackers not cookies? Yeah, the first one though, when you type in "why are animal crackers," <laughs> it pre feels so good. Why are animal crackers? Why are animal crackers not cookies? Why are animal crackers not called cookies? What are animal crackers made of? And this is the best one. Why animal crackers in soup? Why? What does that mean? Maybe the real question is why not? Yeah. Hey, why animals crackers in soup? Why? I love them. So, what are we looking up again? <laughs> that one. The this top one. one. Yeah. No. That. That one. That one. Yeah. Boom. So, although animal crackers are made with layered dough like crackers, they tend to be sweet and flavorful. Yes. But still technically a cracker <gasps> and not a cookie. Not a cookie. Other animal shaped crackers as cookies popular. Wait, that can't read. Can what? I? Other animal shaped crackers and cookies are popular. It's called punctuation. <laughs> is that what those things are? You have to use the commas. What the hell is a comma? Such as Teddy Grahams, Goldfish, Hello Panda and Koalas March. What the hell is Hello Panda? What is a Koalas March? Is that I've where heard like, of Koalas March. Is that March. like Koalas Lives Matter? No, it's uh, when they were protesting <laughs> oh. uh, back in the 80s, all these koalas got out there and they would march. They were like, we're tired of being your cuddly animals shipping right. us from Australia. We're not sweet. We're mean. And so they had the, what's called so the I Koala March. So I still don't know why, but technically a cracker and not a cookie. So they tend to be sweet in flavor. That seems so, racist. Oh, th- so <laughs> they're layered. Huh? So cookies are just like there. And then crackers are layered, so that's why they call them animal crackers. You know what's crazy is I read it, but I was so caught up on the other, I didn't really understand it. I'm just caught up on the soup situation. Are Triscuits better for you than chips? The thing people type, which I've done the same thing. Have you ever diagnosed yourself on WebMD? And by the end of the night, you have cancer and you're dying? Like you're calling somebody, hey, WebMD is terrible. Because I'm dying. You might have a sprained ankle. Or you might have gangrene and you need yes. to remove your entire leg. There's no middle you ground. You might have strep throat or you might have gonorrhea. Yeah. <laughs> Does your head hurt? <laughs> you might need a cast on your arm. <laughs> Wait, what? I've done it, though. That is funny, yeah. But we have a cool thing. You could actually do phone a doctor or video a doctor. That sounds like a game. I know. Yeah. And so you could actually like have a video up and the doctor's like there and you be like, uh, and you show <laughs> <laughs> and you show them like, <laughs> uh, what is this? And look they're like, like Doc? okay, uh. let me write you a prescription. You can't use it for big things, but like for simple things. Like I get sinus crap all the time, so instead of me going to my doctor and paying a, a big bill, 
I could just phone a doctor or video a doctor. You're like, hey, look, I got a problem with my junk. <laughs> There's stuff Can I show you a picture? Well, um, yeah, I guess just send me a picture. <laughs> send you accidentally <laughs> send it to somebody else. I meant to send that to my doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Sure you did. I'm sure you did. Like you have a girlfriend or something, you accidentally, like, no, that was meant for my doctor. Bullshit. Whatever, we're You're done. You're sending dick pics to all these girls. That's, that was for my doctor. And why do you have an infection at the same time? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had a funny joke. I'm not going to say it, though. Oh, uh, my gosh. That is so funny. So, Animal Crackers. Doctors and Koala Marches. Gonorrhea. We're, I mean, if this isn't the best podcast you've ever listened koala to. Koala bears the size of a horse would be tight. I've heard koalas are mean, though. Yeah. They're mean. Why do you want mean animals to be big? I don't know for the thrill. I'm going for sweet and fluffy and all. You're like, I want a Tasmanian devil. Oh, that'd be crazy. Or like a big-ass anteater. Here's the real question. Why can't we have horses the size of dogs? Mm. That would be incredible. What are you going to do with it? Pet it and love it and like hold it. Get it to a kid and take pictures of it riding it for your Instagram. They got little mini ponies. I know. I want one though. Dude, have you seen the videos of those goats? That <laughs> have you seen like you go Whenever yoga? you scream and they the, fall down. Oh my God, they are so... I, for real, when me and my friend we go to a movie, and I think it's Regions. It. Regions Bank has like a commercial with shown in the theater before the movie starts, mm-hmm. and they'll talk about like um, ATM fees, and they're like ATM fees. <laughs> oh, and it's the goats falling over. <laughs> they're like, charge to my credit card. Yeah. And they fall over. And they fall over. I laugh every time. Have you seen like the one that's like the Taylor Swift song? Those are my favorite. Those are the best. Yes. I, I, I always um, told, um, I, I don't know who I told about, so I want to scream and go. Let's, uh, let's, let's try to, uh, do you, what do you think? But you can't show the video, right? Well, Well, maybe. you can like morph it into it so the video will be like right here. Yeah, we can <laughs> look at you. Maybe. Um. All right. Now, this is the regular one, but we want Taylor Swift, right? We're like, no, we didn't play Taylor Swift. wrong, though. Huh? We're gonna get banned from YouTube. You think? You think? Yeah, dude. Taylor Swift will ban us. I'm seeing her next week. I'll, you want me to ask her if we can use it? Yeah, just say, look. We're not saying that you sound like a goat, but that's a super funny video. It says trouble. I knew you were a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Full version. No, no, no. Full version with extra goats. Oh my god, Taylor Swift. Trouble. I knew you were a goat. All right. Damn it. Let's just play the 25 second one. one. We want the 25 second one. All right. Here we go. You're going to get in trouble. Yeah, but maybe. Taylor, I'll ask you. Hey, I've stopped recording automatically. Wait. Movie recording has been stopped automatically. I am back. How are you? Uh I'm like a robot. Are you back up and running? I'm back. So, you're back from outer space. Look at that side eye Taylor's giving him. I don't like that. She's like, did you see those goats? Them goats are so stuck. He's like. Bitch, ain't nothing but a goat. She's like, oh. I am not a goat. I'm tired of you telling me I'm a goat. Is that how <laughs> Taylor Swift talks? That's it crazy, is. man. And she's going to talk like that concert. She's like, hello, Atlanta. <laughs> I'm tired of being here. <laughs> Dude, if she would just make fun you of me. You know herself. who's opening up for her? Camilla Cabello. I don't know who that is. That Havana. Havana, ooh, da, da. You ever heard that song? Uh-uh. Okay, you, don't, you need to get out. And um, Charlie XCX. She's up at a farm. But you don't know that. Why no, I don't. Who, who are people, dude? Who are people? It's just music. What the hell is music? I don't even know anymore. You were trouble and you want <laughs> Why? What? It's going to happen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing right. ever. These stupid goats. Why are you in my video? Oh. I'm sure Taylor's a nice lady. I mean, I'm excited about seeing her. I'm so excited about seeing her. When I get there, I'm going to be like, ah, like a little fangirl. Well, you'll be like that goat. Ah! I'm going to go, ah! <laughs> She's just going to look at you and just be like. No, <laughs> she won't. Obviously, her nose bleeds. But when I go to concerts now, that's what, because um. What, 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 who have I seen? I've seen Dashboard. You've seen all kinds of people, man. Yeah. I got to see Thirty Seconds to Mars. That was incredible. Dude, I bet I like that. And this, and I discovered. A, I love discovering new bands when you go. Like, um, 
Walk the Moon. I don't know if you heard that song. One I've foot, heard Moonwalk. One, um, oh, that's Michael Jackson. Rest in peace. Um, but it's one foot in front of the other. It's a song. One foot in front of the other. And I'm singing. And you don't know it. <laughs> yeah, I just want you to keep going. I knew you were going to do that to me. <laughs> anyway, they opened up for him. And I was like, oh my God, I love. So it's like an extra bonus. Yeah. Because you're there for one artist. But then I'm in there when there's crappy ones. You're like, okay, when's this going to be over with? You know. Yeah. So. Well, now I'm just lying on the cold hard ground. Yeah. Bo, I actually know that song. So what have you been up to since February? <laughs> yeah, let's take the podcast down and talk about our lives. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Jerry, we're like up here. So what? Have, so what have you been going? So what's been going on with you? How man? do you not know that my life could be better than Taylor Swift and Goats? I already know yours is. Okay, <laughs> Dude, yeah. So you're saying yours isn't? So we just need to talk. <laughs> look. If I cannot be on Taylor Swift goat level, I don't want to talk about, about goat it. yoga. That's the real thing. Is that a thing? It is a thing. Goats doing yoga or no, people doing no. yoga with goats? Like when you get in like your position, I've never done yoga before, but like they put like a baby goat on you. For what? It's like a common, it's like a thing. Dude, if I had a class, that's what I would do. I'd that's like, what they do. They're baby goats. They're like goat. It's called goat yoga. You just arguing with your buddies. Be like, man, I bet I could do some stupid shit. I, I bet you can't put a random goat on their back and make them believe it. Oh, you want to bet? You want to bet? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to bring in these goats today. We're going to put them on your back. And Wait, what? They do. Seriously. I'm not, I don't, I believe you. There's some crazy shit out there. Yoga. So, really, you could just add any word in front of yoga and it's it, a thing, it, right? It, yeah. God. Hot, cold yoga. <laughs> yeah. 18 wheeler yoga. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I don't think that truck can fit on it. Yep. Do it. Big diesel tires yoga. Oh, gosh. It's probably all different kinds of yoga. And the thing is, people pay for it. They love it. Uh, my thing is, like, if the, yo- if the yoga, if the yoga, if the goat, like, craps on you or something. You know what's crazy, Jeremy? What? Is that if I had a goat and I was out. <laughs> Tell me, what would you. <laughs> in the you yard. Had a goat. And I s- just started like stretching, and then you walked up and put a goat on my back. They would take us to jail <laughs> because they would be like, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Yeah. We would look like a bunch of crazy people. But That's if true. we go into a class you can do and it. pay money, oh, okay. That's then it's acceptable. At first, I didn't know, you can't, I didn't know where you were going with yeah, that. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I didn't kind of I'm going. It. Why would I sneak up on you and put a goat on your back? <laughs> and why would that be illegal? <laughs> I'm going, where are you going? Where are you leading uh, me to? But does that make sense? If you just saw somebody in the yard, you'd be like, <laughs> yeah. those people are crazy. But if you saw them in a room. But if you pay $100 an hour for right. somebody to put a goat on you. Then you're then and you're are saying, the goats potty trained? No. So I you, don't think they really so you care. Get goat pee on you. That's like they're like, oh, we charge you ten dollars extra if they pee on you. Well, because here's the thing: if they pee on you, and you know, just keep this between us, of course. Don't tell anyone. That means that you have a nice <laughs> chi. <laughs> what, what's the what's the aura around you? Uh, Your chi is very strong if the goat pees on you. <laughs> and they, dude, you can convince anybody of anything. If he drops a deuce on you, yeah, you're gonna have a good day. <laughs> Oh, that goat! Yeah, he had bad diarrhea on you, didn't he? Yeah, that'd be fun if like somebody swaps out the regular you. goats, but they all swap them out for all the screaming goats. Yeah, so everything's peaceful in the uh, in the room. And they're like, uh, and then all of a sudden, all the goats go. <laughs> That's it. Or we couldn't uh, have goats today, so I got my buddy. He has chickens, so yes, that's just as good. There's eggs fall. <laughs> chickens oh, would man. stay still, but yeah, the goats like literally stay still. They're so cute. They're like little mini goats. Huh. I feel like I just, I'm a, like, this. I talk with my. Yeah, hand, just push that mic up. But I'm afraid to. I am a little scared. This Paul's right here. No, no, I meant like towards you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it, it sounds like the old Scooby Doo movies when they used to open doors. Raggy? No, but I got it. I got what you said. You said Shaggy, the Scooby ra- voice. Yes. Okay. I was thinking, I thought that was the noise of a door opening. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, wait, what? Here, let's see if we can hear it. I don't know why it has to be Scooby Doo. It's Dude. actually a coffin. It sounds like a coffin. Like, I don't like that. I'm noise. so ready for Halloween. God, dude, why can't it be tomorrow? We have a Halloween episode coming. I mean, yes, but we have one from last time. Oh, we do. It's got the monster mash or something. I forgot. See, I I feel like this is like. You know, all new. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a brand new thing. It's like, forgot about our other podcast thing. But my beard is still patchy. That hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. 
<laughs> and I'm like, you know what? And it's not. I don't care it. if it's our episode back. That should actually like, be the Ugh. name of our podcast. Is, is Patchy Beard? Patchy Beards, because neither one of us can grow one, and so that's our name of our podcast is but Patchy we, Beards. Yeah, and every time we just patchy have to remind beards, people, Patchy Beards, who can grow the patchiest beard? Ta da! I would win. I think we should write our own theme song. That's what I want to do. Yeah, we just call it Patch. Patches. There's a song called Patches. <laughs> okay. No, I meant. You're like, oh, thanks, thanks, Matt, for that I'm knowledge. Sure there is. I'm sure there's a song called Animal Crackers. <laughs> Dude, I bet there is a song called that. But what I want to do is look up real quick if we can play Patches on the thing Where's because if Elsa? we can, why are you on there, Elsa? That's our thing. Oh, I've been watching Frozen like on repeat lately. It's so good. I've never. Yeah, that's a lie. I have seen it. But I haven't seen any of the other. Let it go. Let it go. That's what it was. That's Let what it, it said. Goat. That that's gonna be the ticket. Let it go. Let it go. Don't they have a second one of those movies? It's coming out. Uh, patches. I think uh, Shaggy sings it. Shaggy, as in yeah, um, from it wasn't me. Yeah. Well, you get there's two different Shaggies. <laughs> Which one is it? It's both of them. <laughs> they do what a duet. Like? <laughs> It's both of them together. It's Scooby, weird. it wasn't me. <laughs> That's a horrible Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he sounded Italian. Oh, it's a Scooby Doo. Oh, it's a Scooby Doo. Uh, it's, uh, it's a clue. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, it's in a Scooby. What are we doing? A Scooby. I don't know. <laughs> it's a Scooby's cousin of Eddie. <laughs> Vinny uh, Doo. I think you can just go bop it a bip it. Bop it a bip it. Vinny Doo. Dude, are you speaking Italian? Yes, I'm pretty fluent. I'm, I'm quite fluent in Italian. <laughs> I <thank> love you. <laughs> it. I learned from watching Super Mario Brothers. Uh, by the way, it was Clarence Carter, and it is blocked in 245 countries. And the United States is, is gonna... one of them. No, it's not. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what United States you're looking at. So YouTube now. God, I want to play that song so like, bad. You, you can go down, because before, you, if you played a song, you just got like a ding or whatever gets yeah. your account. But now it's smart if you can actually type a song and it'll tell you if it's copyright or not. And it's like 240 countries. So there's actually countries out there that will allow, so we need to, we need to find out and record there. Well, it's mostly, like, <laughs> see if our podcast was in like Yemen. So we can actually, yeah. so we let's, let's record it. We can go to it, Ethiopia. Sh- send it to Yemen. Oh, yeah. And then we'd have a, a what was I saying in Yemish? Is it Yemish? Do they speak Yemish? Yeah. Are they called Yemians? Yemens. Yemens. Omen. It was next to it is Omen, and above that, I think it's Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I could be wrong. Well, Saudi Arabian. I mean, they're, they're Saudi Arabians. So Yemens. Yeah, they're Yemens. Yeah. Is that what they are? I don't know. You're looking at me like I'm saying it wrong. I know. I think I'm just thinking it's Yemens. Yeah. Maybe it's not Saudi Arabia. Like we're Floridians. Oh, yeah, so they're yim yim Midians. And there's, like, Alabamians. Yeah. So they're, so they're the omens? Yes, that's scary. That is scary. So I wonder if there's New Yorkians? They're just called New Yorkans. New Yorkans. Yorkans. They're Yorkans. They're Yorkies. They're Yankees. Yeah, Yankees. Holy crap, dude. The Yemenins. But so why, why did I mention that? Oh yeah, Cause oh, because our podcast is super popular in Yemen right now. Yemen. It is number one yeah, on yeah, the charts. Yeah. I didn't realize how much they loved us over there. They love us. Hey, the, in what Yemen. was I saying? Podcast is the shit in, in Yemen. Yemen. Yeah, yes. and it's it, you know, Omen. They're kind of getting used to it over there, but they're just Yemening <laughs> it up. <laughs> they're getting used to us. Yeah, they sneak us across the border and they're like, listen to these two. Listen, white guys. I don't know if I should. <laughs> these crazy. I don't want to get my head cut off. <laughs> one of them speaks flu- <laughs> fluent Italian. <laughs> And they sent it to their cousin, like Vinny. Oh, man. That's not real Italian. That's not real Italian. Oh, thanks. You shut up. Bippity boppity. Bippity boppity. I think if you. Why is bippity boppity? Like, why are you saying Cinderella? <laughs> I don't know. I'm from Yemen. Bippity boppity. I think all you gotta do is add uh at the end of it. You know, uh. You know, I'm from a Yemen. I'm a, I'm a goat. Uh. You don't really sound like a goat. Taylor or Swift, from Yemen. Uh. You know, Taylor Swift isn't as popular as us in Yemen. She's not. We're actually, we are before her in the Yemish community. Yeah. Well, yeah, the Yemish. <laughs> yeah. The Yamish 
And don't get it confused with Amish people now. <laughs> because uh, Amish people don't have um, electricity, so they can't watch us. And I'm gone again. Uh-oh. Hi. So Amish people can't watch us. Are you back? I'm back. Amish people can watch us. How? They find a way. <laughs> you can't. know how many Amish people love our podcast? They, there's no way. Yes, dude. There's some things that you say are true. Well, they have a big boom box. It's made out of you know, straw. Actually, like, TLC and they milk shows cows and listen to us. That. <laughs> that's that's the, what they do, Jerry. <laughs> they sit on buckets, they churn butter, and they dominate. And the, like, what was I saying? I podcast. They're Look like, at that Halloween episode. How do I own milk of this cow? Huh? <laughs> Why am I talking Italian? Everybody has this accent. In the Amish people. <laughs> <laughs> I am so Amish. Bippity boppity. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to any of the Italian community. Yeah, any Italian that sounds like that, then tell me that we're spot on. But I any Amish but Italians I out you, there. If you're Italian and you're offended, the Alabama voices you've probably tried to make, I'm offended by that. I have to. So bippity boppity, so and bippity bippity boppity. we don't bippity care. Hey, hey. But we, we do apologize it. to all the Amish Irish. Wait, Amish. Wait, what are we doing? Italians. Amish Italians. Amish Italians. You think there's an Amish if, if Italian there, out there? there's Amish Italians. How, my beard is growing a little bit too long. <laughs> we can't have a battery. Oh. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Uh, where are we at? Oh, uh, we're probably like at a we are hour. here in the studio Not where we doing are. a I podcast. Oh, I don't know. Are we on a time limit? Today? I don't know. Not not for the episode. But We're like the Amish. We, <laughs> yeah. The sun is our clock. That's it. Now, with Yemen, when we put this out, they wanted us to do a six-hour podcast. But yes. we just can't do it. We can't. I mean, we could. Because they said they they wanted to sleep because <laughs> we're so boring. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we need something good to make us go to sleep. Can you make a podcast for us? Yeah, and if you looked at their sleeping patterns. There are sleeping podcasts. So the other day I loved to like um like listen to Waves and all on Spotify. Yeah. And I started pulling up podcasts. I'm like, well, I'm going to bed. But there's literally podcasts that will help you go to sleep. What do they talk about? I guess they just like read to you or something. But yeah, there's Sleepy Time podcast. Sleepy Time. Yeah. Man, maybe, that's scary. Maybe they read stories to you. What if like three hours in they're just doing subliminal shit? And you wake up in the middle of the night and you want animal crackers and you don't have any. And you start buying all their products and shit? Oh my God. Like how do you advertise with a Sleepy it's Time like podcast? It's ambient people. Like people in ambient, like, you know, it's like crazy. Yeah. Like for real. Um. Who there's a lot of like people out there that send emails and shit while they're on uh Ambien. Oh, I've heard well, uh duh. <laughs> Roseanne. <laughs> what did she do? You are just like cut off from society. I can't with you. She I sent a bunch of emails. She sent a, a horrible tweet out and her show got canceled. Roseanne, the new show got canceled? Yeah. I didn't watch it, but Well, they're gonna continue and all without her. So <sighs> it was bad what she did though. Well yeah. well. We don't like to get political here, but oh, it was it's bad. political based. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Poor Rosanna. And then the here's the best part of the whole thing. I will say this. Yeah. So she's all tweeting now that she's like, oh, it's whatever, whatever. Ambien tweets her and says, "We have a lot of side effects, but racist comments is not one of them." Oh, she said something racist. <laughs> yeah. And, but Ambien snapped back to her and said that because she was trying to throw Ambien underneath the bus, and the makers of Ambien was like, "Yeah, we didn't make you." do that so like don't blame the medicine on that so that was like touche you know what i mean but she was on ambient or she just yeah. tried to blame him no both <laughs> she was on it so she tried to blame him dang so uh she just sent a bunch of emails to yeah. people well, oh, i told you the story like my co-worker she was like um we may have told her on another previous podcast but i forgot she was gaining weight and she didn't realize it and she um uh, I just got a text about something. I'm still listening. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just scared. Like it's like the president tweet. You're like, oh, like I'll tell you a story. I gotta go. Oh, so. the, that was but, Roseanne. <laughs> she, yeah. said, she said, "Look, she said I'm on Ambien now." That bitch. was Ambien that made me do that. So Don't I was listen just, to them. Yeah. So I was. So anyway, so my friend, she was, um, my old coworker, she was gaining weight, whatever, and um, she didn't know why. Uh huh. And one morning, her husband jumps out of bed and he's like, "Becky, Becky, you shit in the bed. You shit in the bed." She's like, "What?" She took a Snickers bar to bed and it melted in the sheet, so he thought she shit in the bed. So she jumped up, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he thought it was a turd in the bed. 
but it was the Snickers bar that was melted. So she was eating in her sleep and she didn't realize it. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. Like people literally make sandwiches and everything and can do it. I know. I'm I believe it. I'm just trying to put myself in that situation if I woke up and there was a Snickers bar. Yeah, man, I'd probably think that. Mm-hmm. And like that they rubbed it yeah, all over the place. Nuts, you think it's corn? Well, I would just roll over and I'd be like, oh my God. Yeah, I'd wake him up. Because I got to think, yeah. why'd he wake him up? Well, I'll be damned if I, um, here, let's uh, let's hit um, uh, the button and let's hit it again. Boom, we're on. And we're back. And we're back. But no, the sneakers thing, man. Sneakers? How do you say it? Snickers. Sneakers? <laughs> Snickers. Snickers. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. I've been <gasps> saying Snickers bar. You've been saying sneakers bar? Sneakers bar. Well, no, I mean, I know that it's called... Sn- I say, I, me, I say water sometimes. People are like, what do you mean water? I'm like, yeah, I want a glass of water. And I say like, monster. Not monster? I, I say monster. Yeah, I, do, I say that. But monster. Wait, how do you say it? Monster? Yeah, I say monster. Well, I told you, my friend, like, one day something was spoiled, and I said, weren't. And yeah. they were like, what did you just say? I said, oh, it's weren't. And they're like, spell that? Oh, yeah. And... I'll be like, oh, I'm fixing to go over here. They're like, oh, are you going to fix it? Are yeah. Are you fixing that? Wait, like, what? No, I'm fixing it, to go over here. It always throws me off guard, especially when I move down here. Yeah. They're like, oh, are you going to fix that? What are you talking about? What do you about? mean? Well, I don't need a hammer. And, and yeah. then I, because I don't even realize I say it, but mm-hmm. hell, I'm fixing to go do something. I say, I'm I say wrestling. Wrestling? Have y'all seen wrestling? I'll They're going to be here this weekend, too. Wrestling. Who? WWE's going to be here. Dude, you know I don't follow them. I don't watch it. But people do. Oh, dude, it's like, huge. It's humongous. And you hear uh, one of the trivia questions the other day was, <clears throat> excuse me, Vince McMahon's going to try to bring out back the XFL. You remember that? It was like an indoor, like a, almost like a very aggressive football league. Oh. So he's trying to bring that back. He He's already put in like millions of dollars trying to get it to come back. I people love it. Like my yeah. nephew and all, they, I mean, they love wrestling. Yeah. Now, back in the 90s, it was all I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Goldberg, Stone Cold, all them, Sting. Yeah, My good. dog was named after a wrestler, so Dang. yeah. So I used to be big into it, and then my favorite was the I had Hardy Boys. The fuck up. I like the Hardy Boys. Don't say that. There might be old and young listeners here. Well, look, if you're listening to this and you're a you or wait with WWE fan, if, if you're a UWF, then you love football. The old football. What is it like? Arena football? Yeah, XFL. Oh, okay. Arena football never works though. No. Several people have tried to do it. I just yeah, Bulldogs uh in Birmingham. They had one. I just don't understand it. I don't I don't like it. My cousin Yeah, I think yeah, my cousin tried to um he was actually in an arena football league. It didn't pan out, you know. Yeah. Cuz nobody gives a crap. <laughs> but they I mean, I guess if they're like small. Somebody who was it that I was talking to the other day, they had the best idea. Why not do NFL first part of the year and college the second part of the year or vice versa. That'd be why, awful. Why? Why? Well, why? Why? Have, in other words, you have year round football. Yeah, but I don't like NFL. I I know that, but I'm just saying. But for people who like football, oh, just you, you like have, you, you have year round football. Well, they they do okay because you have Sunday night and Monday night for NFL. Yeah, I mean, what we know as a nation, we're sort of Thursday, like Friday, that's just how Saturday, it goes. yeah. But we're just saying, like, if it wasn't, you know, who gets the winner? And who gets the summer? Yes. You'd have to alternate. No, you couldn't alternate. Because if you alternated, then you'd have a double up season. Mm. It would throw everything off, though. Yeah. I would still watch it. Whenever Bama's playing, yeah, everybody out there, roll tide. Roll tide. <laughs> All uh, the Yemen's roll tide. Yeah. Oh, dude, the Yemen. Roll tide, huh? Roll tide, huh? A bippity boppity, roll tide, Oh, man. Well. This might have been going a little bit longer than we expected. Actually, dude, I think we're only at like 30-something minutes. It feels like five minutes underwater. <laughs> that sounds like a song. Dude, that's the name of our podcast, Five Minutes Underwater. Five Minutes Underwater with Patchy Beards. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a patchy beard underwater? Well, try WWIS Podcast for... It will help you. <laughs> but, in Yemen. <laughs> it, well, in Made Yemen. in Yemen. Yeah, well... Let me let me translate it for Yemen's all the Yemen people out there. I wonder if we can put Saudi like, Arabia subtitles in our stuff. Oh, we can. Well, here here they are right here. A patch of the beard. Uh, it's a boppity 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 boo. Boppity 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 beard. Boppity Yemen. Boom. And for all the um, 
you know, English people speaking, Jeremy was saying that he's fixing to tell thank you. y'all for coming back to the podcast. Yes. We are back finally yes. for good now. We will hopefully have weekly episodes for you, podcast and aftercast. Yep. So stay tuned. That is it. And uh, go ahead and translate that for our Yemen fans. We will uh, have a weekly a podcast for you to enjoy with your pizza. <laughs> the pizza, the pasta. Meat lovers only, hey! We are out of here, guys. Bippity boppity. Thanks for watching. Bippity boppity. Boop. <laughs> I think that's how it needs to be in. <laughs> Wait, that's that. I was like, why are you doing that so hard? <laughs> oh, he was yeah. not ready for this jelly. I wasn't ready for <laughs> spaghetti, dude. Oh, God, you can't play that again. We'll surely get fired. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are y'all ready? All right, guys, appreciate y'all listening, and we are back. They're going to get better. Thank you uh, for the listening in Yemen. <laughs> Bippity-boppity, guys. Bye-bye. And we will see y'all later. Bye, Raggy.